Consumer credit counseling is a service designed to help individuals manage their debt and improve your overall financial situation. But like any financial service, it has its own sets of pros and cons. The pros of consumer credit counseling include debt management, which is basically to help you provide a structured plan to manage and reduce your debt. This can include negotiating lower interest rates, lower fees, and monthly payments with your creditors. It also helps with financial education. Credit counselors often offer educational resources and workshops to help you better understand budgeting, saving, and managing your finances. This leads to improved financial literacy, and who doesn't need that? It also provides one-on-one -on -one guidance. Clients receive personalized assistance and guidance tailored to your specific financial situation. This can be especially helpful for those who are overwhelmed by debt and just don't know where to start. And of course, consolidation. Credit counseling agencies may help clients consolidate multiple debts into one single, way more manageable monthly payment. And this simplifies the repayment process. And of course, the credit counselors can often negotiate with creditors to establish more favorable repayment terms and prevent aggressive debt collection tactics and practices. And nobody wants those phone calls anyway. The other thing is that there are cons to consumer credit counseling. And one of those is fees. While some nonprofit credit, consumer credit counseling agencies offer their services at free or low cost, others may charge fees. It's really essential for you to understand the cost structure and how those fees are assessed before you enroll in any program. And of course, the big thing is there's a substantial impact on credit scores. Enrolling in a debt management plan through credit counseling can potentially have a negative impact on your credit scores. And it, the reason is because this information is reported to your credit bureau as being in credit counseling. The LATES also may report on credit, and this is because many times the LATES will be reported due to how the credit counseling company makes those payments. They are not always made on time, and that will further damage your credit scores. I see this all the time, unfortunately. And of course, the other thing is debt management programs typically involve a structured repayment plan that could extend over many, many years, meaning that those debts may actually extend out further than they would have before. The other thing is too, is that one of the cons is that these programs are not suitable for all debt types. Consumer credit counseling primarily focuses on unsecured debts like credit cards and personal loans. It may not be effective for addressing secured debts, mortgages, or auto loans. And the big one is to watch out for scams and frauds because while there are definitely reputable credit counseling agencies out there, there are fraudulent ones too. And consumers need to make sure that you research and choose accredited trustworthy organizations. The big thing for you to know as well is that this is not a magic solution with a magic wand. This type of counseling is not a guarantee of debt elimination. It requires discipline and commitment from clients to follow through with the recommended plan. And the big thing is from a qualification of a mortgage perspective, this affects your ability to get qualified. Consumer credit counseling can be valuable resource for people that are struggling with debt providing you guidance and tools to be able to regain control over your finances. However, it's essential for you to weigh those pros and cons, do lots of research, and choose a reputable counseling agency if you're considering this option. You should also be aware there is no one-size-fits-all solution, and the effectiveness of credit counseling may vary depending on your individual circumstances. Hope this helps.